Mothers in One Piece tend to live what I like to call the Batman lifestyle. Either they die as heroes or they live long enough to see themselves become rather obese and cake obsessed villains. But another mother we have yet to discover is the woman who spawned down delightful protagonist who I refer to affectionately as Mother D. Luffy. So here's everything we know about her. Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. My name is Liam and just like Luffy, I also have a mother that you haven't seen yet. And even though she herself has never seen One Piece, she does, for reasons, watch these videos. So hi, mum, if you're watching. Hi, mum being two words that Luffy has not used in quite some time, if ever. In fact, the closest thing he currently has to a mother is Zoro, who is always there to metaphorically wipe Luffy's behind after he's taken a gomu gomu no dump on some allies' meticulously laid out battle plans. But Mother D. Luffy is probably the most important character in the series that we have never met. A woman connected to all of the world's most profound dude people, be they dragons, donuts, or even anthropomorphic fists. There's a lot more to her than meets the eye, particularly because a grand total of none of her have met any of our eyes yet. However, Oda has spoken about Luffy's mother on two very, very enlightening occasions. Before that though, Tony Tony Doggo is here to beg you for pats and treats. Luckily for every person who subscribes to the channel as a result of this video, this delightsome papa will receive one pat. So subscribe generously and get this boy a well-earned pat. Now the first time Mother D Luffy was mentioned wasn't actually in the series. In fact, she's never been mentioned in the series. Way back in 2009, Oda conducted an interview with American Shonen Jump, which was a monthly publication that cost high school Liam a disgusting amount of money and included significantly less content content than its weekly Japanese counterpart. This costs like $2, whereas the American Shonen Jump was half the size, but around 10 times the price. But you know, enough of my whinging for now. Because in this interview, veritable MILF hunter John Irons asked Oda, was Luffy's mother beautiful, wink wink? Along with more relevant questions like, what was Luffy's mother like? What happened to her? Did she die when Luffy was a baby? Tell me, Oda. Lots of questions, all asked sequentially before Oda had time to even answer the first. But here is our mangaka's magical answer. I think she's alive. I'm still thinking hard about this. And then in brackets, there's a bit of a laugh, which I picture is Oda going, ho 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 ho. But if she she does appear in the story, then she'll be a very tough looking woman and strict. There's no way that she's a beautiful mother. She's got this typical middle-aged woman's permed hair. Now remember, this is the year 2009 which for some reference was the year that Lady Gaga's poker face was released. So we're essentially now talking about ancient history. And it was also before we met the character of Curly Dadan in the manga. However, her first appearance would be in chapter 568, released on December 21st, 2009. So in this interview, Oda was basically foreshadowing Dadan and being a bit of a troll, choosing to interpret the question I would say differently than the interviewer had intended. With that said, it is clear that Oda considers Dadan to have taken on the role of mother in Luffy's young life. And quite Quite frankly, she's lucky to be alive. Because One Piece is far from kind to its various mothers, to the point where it's probably the most undesirable job in this entire world. I mean, if you think about it, you've got the tragedies of Bunchina, Belmere, Sora, and I could go on and on, so I will. Olivia, Rouge, Otohime, Scarlet, Toki, TT, and that, that's enough, I think you get the point. It can be argued that One Piece is less a story about fictional pirates, as it is a rather lively narrative cemetery to loving mothers. However, that brings up a question that doesn't get asked anywhere nearly enough, which is, is Mother D. Luffy alive? I think most of us just automatically assume that she's dead because eh, that's the clear trend. However, there has never been any real solid evidence to suggest that Mother D. Luffy no longer resides in this world. In fact, of the two statements we have from Oda, he does quite blatantly use one of them to confirm that she's alive. And yes, he was talking about Dadan, but knowing Oda, there could certainly be more foreshadowing at play there. So let's take a look at our second official statement, which is actually hearsay. But it's hearsay from Mayumi Tanaka, a mother who voices the child of Mother D. Luffy in The One Piece. And this is a significantly more recent piece of information that came out in the 2020s. But at some stage during her long and accomplished career, Mayumi Tanaka became a little bit curious about Luffy's background, which is a thing that actors like to do. You know, the more information you have, the more complete of a character that you can build. So she asked Oda pretty directly about Luffy's mother, and this was his response. Luffy's adventure began after he left his mother's arms. I want to tell this young man's story. So his mum is not part of it, which I would say is rather cryptic, neither confirming nor denying the allegations of Mother D. Luffy currently engaging in the practice of life. But it is the standard shonen thing that needs to happen. The common problem with series that focus on adolescent adventures is that those adventures 
adventures, well, they can't really happen if parents are involved. Assumedly being responsible and, you know, not allowing their children to do stupid things, like say set sail on a dinghy with the intent of traveling into the Grand Line, where a lot of people end up channeling their inner motherhood and dying early. That's why there is a disproportionate amount of orphans in these kind of series, because it's just easier. But with the critical mass of absentee fathers in One Piece, there's clearly room to break that mold with an absentee mother. Although I would personally find it quite unlikely. Going by the standards of what Oda has both said and done, it feels like Luffy's mother is going to remain out of the picture because this is his adventure. And just like Christmas lunch, getting family involved is something that only leads to disaster and regret. So let's not do it. Let's not invite them. However, there is also a very One Piece answer to Mother D. Luffy potentially being alive. We know that Luffy is unfamiliar with his father. But for all we know, he could be very well aware of who his mother actually is. Towards the end of the series, the topic would just come up randomly and I could see Luffy going, oh yeah, yeah, mom, I haven't seen her in a while. Being too busy with all of my adventure and punch fighting. Maybe, I still think it's unlikely. Right now, it feels like if she was featured at all, the future purpose of Mother D. Luffy would be for some sort of eventual dragon flashback. A tragic death, perhaps actioned by the very deformed hands of the world nobles. Some personal tragedy to really kickstart his quest to bringing down the system and enacting the justices or whatever it is he wants to do, we're not entirely sure yet. Funnily enough, at this moment, Dragon is treated by the world government much more like what we know of Rox de Zebec, very much being labeled as a terrorist style operator. And I think it would be really interesting if and when we get to Rox, if he wasn't that at all. And he was more like the dragon of his time. Anyway, Rox got punched by Garp and Garp is the granddaddy of Luffy and therefore Garp is somehow related to Mother D. Luffy. I say somehow because, well, it's not entirely clear. The assumption for most of One Piece has been that Dragon is Garp's son, given that they both share that key monkey name. However, Garp has never actually referred to Dragon as such. He usually says something more along the lines of your father, as opposed to say, my son. At one point he even said to Luffy, you're just my kid's kid, which I just find interesting because we're using some very roundabout language there to make sure that we don't necessarily confirm Dragon as having been crafted from the seed of Garp. And I would be really interested if Mother D. Luffy was actually Garp's daughter. Because knowing his luck, she would have been a raucous pain in the collective behinds of every Marine, perhaps even being the first of his family to become a pirate or even an early revolutionary. And as for why Dragon would have the monkey name, well, I've done a whole video about this before, but it's not uncommon in Japanese culture for a man to be adopted into a family via marriage, which is called Mukuyoshi. The reason why I would personally want Mother D. Luffy to be Garp's daughter though, is because it would lower the chances of her being some sort of random irrelevant civilian. Whereas if Dragon is the true wearer of those garpy garpy jeans, then Mother D. Luffy is more likely to be a random woman who didn't do a whole lot except for exist and then give birth and then stop existing, which is scientifically known as the Rouge phenomenon. Whatever the case may be, Luffy's mother is always a bit of a hot topic within the fan base, as many, let's say, imaginative individuals believe that we have already met her. I'm sure you're all familiar with the Crocker mom theory. I've done a video on it before, so I'm not gonna go over it again here. But if a character is female, or at least has the potential to become female, which is surprisingly doable, then inevitably it is speculated that said character is Luffy's biological mother. For example, on Reddit, there is a post from a user whose, whose name I won't say because I'm fairly certain it's racist, but he argues that Stussy is Luffy's mother with the main piece of evidence being, and I quote, similar name to Luffy. Luffy, Stussy, Luffy, Stussy, Stuss, Luffy. In fact, you can even mispronounce them the same way as well with your Luffy Stussy combination. However, that is but the tip of this iceberg. And I am now going to present to you a, a very left field, but surprisingly compelling theory regarding the identity of Mother D. Luffy. Eight months ago, a thread was posted by Man United Red Devil titled, The Answer to Who is Luffy's Mother? And then in brackets, big, big letters saying, spoilers. So there's your spoiler warning, I suppose. Take that as you will. Okay, so, so first things first. What do we know about Luffy's mom? Which I guess I'm gonna say because this person probably isn't Australian anyway. The one thing that Oda revealed about her is that we have already met her. Since most female characters have met Luffy, you would assume that they would have told him like, BTW, I'm your mom. So I did some digging and there is really only one character that makes sense, Laboon. Now, <laughs> hear me out. I know on first glance it may sound ridiculous, but if you really think about it, it makes sense. It does sound ridiculous, but but just stay with me because Reddit user with stupidly long name has a five point plan of refutable evidence. Not refutable, irrefutable. A five point plan of irrefutable evidence. You might say, wait, Laboon is male, right? That's wrong. 
Looking at the size of the whale, the boon is far bigger than other whales the series has shown us, and as everyone knows, female whales become larger than males. It would make sense for Brooks' crew to just assume he was a male, cause how would they even know to confirm the gender? Hmm. Well, I've actually been to the Penis Museum in Reykjavik, and I can safely say that whale gender is its almost impossible to miss, but let us continue. The first time we met the boon, we noticed how much she wanted to meet back up with her Nakama. Kind of similar to Luffy after the time skip trying to get back to his crew. We even see Laboon smashing her head against the mountain nonstop. Now we know where Luffy gets his perseverance from, and that I have to admit is true. I've often described Luffy's fighting style as just you know, repeatedly smashing his head against a brick wall until it breaks, so I'm back on board with this theory for now. Animal names, monkey, dragon, whale. Still working on this one, TBH, but it makes sense. It makes about as much sense as a post time skip disco, which is none because he is a homeless alcoholic. It needs to be a character that we will revisit since we have already met her, according to Oda. I don't see a lot of female characters being revisited, and since Brooke is going back to her for sure before the show ends, it makes sense for that to be the moment that Luffy realizes that Laboon is actually his biological mother. Now I would never hire this person as my accountant because their idea of making sense makes me quite nervous. However, because they've mentioned this multiple times now, I'd like to point out for posterity's sake that Oda has never said that we've met Luffy's mother. That's one of those things that gets passed around on the internet like a needle at some sort of underground opioid party. By which I mean far too acceptingly and with far too little concern for its mysterious origins. In this case, it comes from the SBS of volume 44, where a reader asked about Luffy's parents and Oda's answer was mistranslated by randoms on the internet as him saying, they've already been drawn. When in reality, Oda was referring to a single parent and by that time, Dragon had already been drawn and revealed as Luffy's father at the point that this SPS was published. Anyway, you'd think that with that, the Mama Laboon theory would be deader than the Rumbar Pirates. However, there is one final shockingly convincing piece of evidence. Since Laboon can't speak Japanese, it makes sense for her not to have told Luffy she is his mother. And that is the one point that I simply cannot argue with. TLDR, dragon boned a whale resulting in a monkey. So kindly say hello to our new canon, Mother D. Luffy, and then say hello to this next video by, by watching it. It's good and stuff, and I look forward to seeing you there.